think it's a problem that I didn't change. Hmm? Do we understand that there is a first video and there is a second? We can be wearing <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome again to our YouTube channel, uh, to the feminist family. My name is Pam. I'm Corey. And we are happy to see you again here. If it's the first time you are coming on our YouTube channel, there is a first video talking about what we're going to be talking about on uh, this YouTube channel, the yeah. feminist family. And uh, actually, that first video you're gonna see, or that you've been seeing, that you have already seen, that's, that you have already seen, was recording, recorded like 10 minutes before this one. That's why <laughs> we are still dressed the same. Nobody say that we need to change our clothes all the time. I could put on a different t-shirt, but what's the point? <laughs> well, who are we lying to? We are not lying. No, no, it's really Why complicated. Bother? And I don't have that much clothes, like, to be... I'm not here to impress anybody with clothes, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> this is our second video, and as it's surely marked in the title, we're going to talk about who we are. Mm -hmm. He's the crazy one. That's what I hear. <laughs> so who, who are we? Okay, well, I mean, uh, I guess I'm Corey Johnston. I, uh, I used to run a podcast. Uh, I'm a skeptic, and I'm a father, and I'm an atheist, and I'm very left-wing politics, uh, po political philosophy. Um, I'm been divorced i've uh <laughs> lived it happened yeah it happens there mm -hmm. lots of people mm -hmm. i've mm -hmm. lived in saskatchewan uh the majority of my life uh usually in a small town i worked in the oil field until the quarantine made us all get laid off and get Maybe. locked in our house <laughs> but yeah i I don't think my story is that interesting, but I've, I've spent a lot of my life trying to learn to do new, do better, to learn to be a better person, to have more information before drawing conclusions about things. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> how about you? I'm Pam with my book. I've wrote <laughs> already on my life and I have a so interesting life. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, there is no book on my life, no, and I don't think that's really there's gonna be one day a book on my life. But my name is Pamela Kazekere. I'm from Burundi, that little country in uh, East uh, Africa, like the heart of Africa. I can show you on my map. Yes, I always have a map on me, but it's. I come from a small country, and I need to tell you something. If you go to look uh, on Burundi on the map, if you put your finger on the map, you're gonna see Rwanda. It's normal because it's really small. So that's my country. I was born there, raised there, and um, I created Burundi for the first time when I was like, are we gonna say about our ages? Oh yeah, because I mean, I, it's gonna you give can me. if you want. Mm -hmm. So at a certain moment, <laughs> after my first marriage, and my first marriage, are you counting? Okay, after my <laughs> first marriage, <laughs> I went to live in Belgium, and uh, which is a nice country, and uh, unfortunately I didn't go, but yeah, shit happened, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and yes, I stayed there a little moment, and after a certain moment, I decided to go back in my country to build my country, Burundi. <laughs> it didn't last that long, maybe one year ish, but it will. It lasted enough for me to meet my second partner mm -hmm. and get our first kid together, and. Um, 
we had to flee our country burundi we had to flee in rwanda with our baby who was like at that moment one month and a half because her parents um, decided to go against the president and uh, were somehow targeted by the government and we had to flee uh, no choice or otherwise we were gonna die to Rwanda and then after Rwanda I arrived here in Canada and later my uh, partner uh, her father uh, joined us here and we got time to get our second baby together unfortunately again shit happened it didn't work so have you counted? It's, it's only two. Why are people counting? Like, it's only two. Who <laughs> says that we need to stay with the same partner for life, no matter what? I know that's what they say. In it church, is what they, right? One of the smartest people I know says mm -hmm. that people need to break up more often. Yes, <laughs> yes. You people need to stay. stay if it, it, yeah. Yes, and um, and yeah, there is no reason to stay in a relationship where if it's not if working. it's not working, right? And uh, if it didn't work the first time or the second time, the first time is maybe the good one. I hope this one is the last one because <laughs> right now I'm happy and I'm staying. Are you staying? Am I what? Staying. Yes, I'm planning on it. So <laughs> we are the proof that yep. shit happen, but also beautiful things can happen you in can, life. And yep. um, as long as we're breathing, we move on, right? So here is who I am. I work, uh, work in communication and um, uh, what else to say? I have two girls of five years and uh, one year and a half. Yeah, I've got two teenagers, I guess. I we never mention. know. Yeah, yeah. We did mention it in the first video. <laughs> but my son is 16 and my daughter is 14. They're so wonderful. They're, they've survived most of the parenting that I've <laughs> done so so yes uh, we are recording from uh, Regina yeah Saskatchewan and uh, which is not a very big city it's uh, no I'm not entirely sure what the population is but compared to other cities in Canada it's not uh, it's like really small and actually like most of my friends outside of uh, Saskatchewan or uh, Manitoba near here each time I say Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, they were like, where Saskatchewan? Like, nobody knows Saskatchewan. And Regina is. <laughs> yeah. Some Remember people know like Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Yeah, yeah, actually. But we have here, like, we survive. There is life. And mm -hmm. um, it's a nice city, after all. I love it. But the best place is where you are, where you choose to be. And um, I guess... We can even be just good in a house, nowhere. That's what everybody in the world is experiencing now. Lockdown. <laughs> I hope you're happy even if in your big city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else can we say? Like, okay. Um, I guess, why do you call yourself a feminist supporter? Because um, question to introduce yourself. It's a good question. Um, but also, once one learns enough about feminism, it becomes hard not to support it. Because there are things that are going on in society that keep women from achieving their full goals and full, I guess, happiness or, or uh, potential, depending on what they're looking for. So... Those are the kinds of things, like there's roadblocks for women where there aren't for men. And that's one of those things that feminism is trying to deal with. So it's hard not to support it, I find. <laughs> I wish more men in the world were understanding like the, uh, like the emergency. Are we, are we going to call this an emergency? Because like it's been like on earth, like patriarchy has been like, doing its way like since long time and uh, men been obviously supporting mm. it but and many me, women and many women many women too so i guess yeah and um what else can we say about us we are a new couple yeah relatively new relatively new even mm. though when we're together like it really feels that we've been together since long time mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, we've technically only been together for what? Five months? Six mm -hmm. months? Mm hmm So Wow. It, but it seems like Remember remember when uh we were saying that we've been together like since three months and we would look at each other like three months only? Like yeah. since we together? Like <laughs> I'm glad now we can say six months. <laughs> yeah, at least six months. At least six months sounds like a real number. Yes. <laughs> yes. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Ever since we've been together, it seemed like this was where we were supposed to be. And I'm. I don't believe in fate, but <laughs> but this is where I've been the most comfortable in a very long time. So. <laughs> So what else? What else? Um, who we are? Who are we? Um, okay, what would you say that is like my main quality? Your main quality? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand the question. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess enough. I have lots of qualities. And yeah. I guess people don't care about this. Like, hmm? this is who we are. And um, I guess it's not easy like to keep talking about yourself. And uh, yeah. I, I guess this video will have like after a long time, a second one for a follow up on who we are. Um, and maybe it's going to be the occasion to respond to some of your questions you may have on us so feel free to put in comments like if you have questions on us if you would like to know anything we are not here like to give um to say everything who can say everything like i mean hmm? i guess <laughs> did, did there are some secret zone or uh but we're gonna try to be the um to be true really yeah with you guys so if you have any questions and uh, anything you would like us to be talking about yeah share in the comments we will read it <laughs> so i guess is that that's all for this one then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right i guess it's in this one that i can talk about my hair oh yeah you can mention your hair if you like it for the first time of my life i braided my hair myself Took three days. Took three days. <laughs> Took but, him to take care of everything else in the house. Like everybody forgot me and I just put it movies and have done this. So Oh yeah. it's good. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is all we can say. Do you wanna add something on it? Uh I'm not sure. I guess uh one of the things that people might wonder is why anybody should take any advice or listen to our our political views or any other things that we have to say and i'm not uh and i don't think that anybody necessarily has to but uh i know that i've given my views a lot of thought and i know that pam has given her views a lot of thought and sometimes we agree and sometimes we don't agree and that this is a place for education and learning for us as well as anybody who might be interested in what we have to say so mm -hmm. That's all we can offer, and I hope that's good enough. <laughs> yes, really. Um, we are not like saying that we are the best in anything. We are not saying that everything we're gonna be saying is the truth or somehow. Um, I guess we are just sharing our journey with you guys, yeah. <laughs> and welcoming you because uh, we hope that you help us really grow uh, together mm -hmm. and. Uh, like become like better persons yeah and uh, we're gonna be sharing uh with you um many stuff that you can agree or not agree with and we will we would love really to hear from you guys as long as you're not shitty if Don't you are shitty, shitty we're gonna just be <laughs> deleting <laughs> if you give us constructive criticism thoughtful delete. input delete and remember listen. guys remember remember something uh here in this youtube's road nobody is forcing you to do anything we are glad that you are watching 
and uh, don't feel like any obligation to come with us if you don't like what we're doing but if you like what we're doing and you think that we can change anything let us know because we are here to grow with you and who knows like maybe we're gonna meet here new friends we're gonna meet here yeah people are gonna be really useful in our life yeah or uh, maybe we can even make the world a bit better place <laughs> that's what we would like <laughs> okay don't forget to subscribe we see you push the button right now and the bell the notification bell that's the right. notification bell <laughs> right. we love you